Tell me the difference between when I caught the rattlesnake on our drunken hike and this redneck catching the rattlesnake on his drunken hike. How's that sound? You want to give us a play by play here, Pat? Sure. Sounds good. All right, Peter. All right. Let's so it's it deep sand. The guy's barefoot, tiny little rattlesnake grabs the tail. He's going to pinch the head. He's very hesitant. He got the head. Oh, he's, he got scared, pulled his hand off the head. And, get and got pinned. he got tagged. <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. What, what was idiot. the point? There wasn't one. What is There's it? no point. There's no point. Especially so he's at a beach. He's, he's at a beach. beach. I mean, it's probably like a, you know, like a rivery beach, but he's at a beach. And what's so dumb is he clearly has no idea what he's doing. Yeah. He's seen it on TV. He's going for the head without, <laughs> you know, any stick or anything in soft sand. Ugh, what an idiot. Yeah, I so mean, even uh, even I like he he looked like a wannabe like cowboy. He had that cowboy hat on, real tan, muscular. No, that's a good look. He's a, that's a good, super. That's a good he's a really really handsome bastard. Yeah, I gotta that's a good that. look. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but what he's I'm got saying the cowboy is, hat, the short board shorts, good physique, nice super hand. ribs. Yeah, yeah. Come guys on. like that cannot handle a rattlesnake. Is all no, exactly. He's got Peter, no business. He's got no. Business. I was gonna make the same point. I was like, based on that guy's physique, the fact that his entire body's waxed, he's got a fucking gorgeous <laughs> tan. He was waxed. Super short shorts, three inch inseam. Yeah, <laughs> that guy is not. Uh, fucking I mean, he Andrew looked Uchos. great, but no. yeah. he's got he's got no business doing those kind of shenanigans. You got to leave that for us uggos who have nothing else going on. We don't have <laughs> exactly don't have that aesthetic. Okay? He didn't even our, have our a fucking beard for a Christ's sake. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, if you don't have a beard, don't pick up rattlesnakes. Fact. Um, that's a that was a teeny. Was that a little baby rattlesnake that was? Yeah, it was a small you know, one. Not certainly not 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 a big one. Um, not a baby, but yeah, not you know, a little skinny pencil, which are by the way, much harder to deal with than the big fat sluggish ones. Sometimes don't the the babies have a higher concentration of venom too? Is that applicable with it's 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 that's the rumor. What it actually is is that it's funny. That, so the first level, this is actually kind of interesting. The first level of rumor is that baby rattlesnakes have stronger venom, which is incorrect. The second level of rumor is that the babies don't have an ability to to regulate how much venom they pump into something. So venom is an evolved trait, not for defense, at least not in rattlesnakes. It's evolved for them to kill something to eat it. Right. That's what venom is for. Um, right. And then the second tier of like theory is this whole idea that uh, or rumor rather is that oh, when they're a baby, they're still young and they're learning and they don't know how to regulate how much venom they put into you. So if you're an adult who gets bitten by a baby rattlesnake, they use up all their venom reserves. They don't save any of it, which is also mm -hmm. incorrect. What it actually is, is that um, when they're a baby, what's the best way to put this? Uh, when they're a baby, when they're an adult, they have the ability to dry bite if they want to. So a dry bite, meaning they'll bite you without venom mm. as a defensive thing, because venom's very biologically expensive. It takes a lot of energy to produce venom. So you're not going to waste it, right? You're only going to use it if you're in big trouble, basically. Um, mm -hmm. And when, uh, when a rattlesnake is an adult, it has the ability to give you a dry bite, which means bite you without any venom. But when they're a baby, they don't actually have that ability yet. So what happens is when, you're a ba when you get bitten by a baby rattlesnake, you are going to get an envenomation. They're also much more wiry. They're much more uh, quick and, and difficult. And so, yeah, it's interesting because th there's like three levels of misunderstand or misconception with like why baby rattlesnakes are worse to get bitten by. But the reality is it's just because they babies won't dry bite you where an adult sometimes will dry bite you. But at the end of the day, a big bite from a big rattlesnake and more venom is worse than any baby venom. It's interesting because I'd, gotcha. I'd always, always heard that they they they'll just unleash all their venom. I'd always heard that rumor. Yeah. And you're saying untrue. Yeah, it's not, it's not, I mean, th at least that's the most recent sort of theory, which is more that, that's, I think it's more than theory. I think it's pretty proven at this point, which is just that the babies can't dry bite, which the adults can choose to do as a defensive like strike and be like, gotcha. leave me alone. Don't mess with me. You know, dry bite. I'm not going to waste my yeah. venom on you.